Vipi was saying Dex Zappa box to box FPL show brought to you by Uber Eats. Uh yeah, this is game week 7 preview and also we look forward to game week 8. Obviously, um game week Ilisha Jana Tuesday uh after game Luton Lutona Burnley Burnley won 2-1. Um yeah, so that's why we had to delay the show a bit. But yeah, we're here. We're here baby. We are brought to you by Uber Eats and guys don't forget mnazatumia code box to eats mkiwa pale Uber Eats app whenever you're ordering food uh, you'll get 20% off your first order um, and that uh, discount is going to be up to 800 shillings so yeah don't forget to use the code box to eats when you are on the Uber Eats app um, yeah and then at the end of the show we're just going to name our three managers who actually won uh, the, the three top managers in our league in september we're going to give them something special from uber eats um obviously guys if you want to be in the running you can join the box to box league the league code is l1 q7 on um as you can see on the screen and yeah you can also be a winner so without further ado to get straight kwa game week seven squad alafu tuangalia game week eight so game week seven tuliwai 60 points tuliko to matches a wild card peer uh yeah team ekufanya Mbaya sana, considering what other people got, people were getting 30s and stuff. So to get 60 is not a bad thing. Average points ilikuwa 49. Um, obviously, pale nyuma, Cash, Shah na Ariola walitupatia a combined 19 points. Yeah. Gvadiol alikuwa, alikuwa naanza, but bila kucheza, Estupinian of course alingia. Estupinian who, by the way, there's a rumor that uh, according to Fabrizio, that he might be out for a while. So that is a situation to monitor. And then in midfield, obviously, Saka came through with nine points. Gordon gave us five. Son uh, scored a goal against that uh, against Liverpool. Diaby Nali pata assist mbili. Moje likuele on goal ya stupinyan. Alafu palembele, Morris amatipatia ten points. Uh, combined, alipata eight points kwa game yake ya Kwanza, I think, versus Everton. He scored, akapata bonus pia. Na Haaland alitoka na two points. In defense, uh, Tana alitoka na three points. Udogi one. Obviously, Gvadiola alikuja kwa bench uh, after not playing. And then Acha got two points. Tukiangalia league zetu, sai tume at least kuna green arrow. So that's positive. Ibe kwa wiki mbili na red arrow. Um, league ya box to box, tumatoka 13.25 hadi 8.62. Uh, league a good company tume ruka almost 2000 places tume toka 5200 paka 1400 1800 places roughly eh, but yeah 2g's um in kenya 60k to 40k alafu overall tume toka 3.4m paka 2.4m so yeah and then super sport league obviously about 120k places gained up to 234 Injuries uh, from game week seven. So Ia Bukayo, Bukayo limped out of the game against um, Bournemouth, the 4 0 win. But then he started the Champions League game, and appeared game at Champions League. He was subbed off for 30 minutes. And according to Ateta's interview, it doesn't look like it's a uh, it's a promising one. And chances are that Hatai game Man City. So definitely someone to monitor. He's been very consistent in FPL. Akiwa ananda kumis a few games only. Atsema ananda kumis kama game moja ju international break pay na kam. So, uzuri wafanyele wali katulifanya ni we are now confident in our squad. We can afford to at least keep Bukayo on the bench for one week. But kama ni wiki mbili, then that becomes a bit tricky. Um, so, obviously, situation ya kumonita. Ameko on form, as, as as you can see. Four goals, three assists. Um, yeah, quite consistent. Next player, when tunangalia ni Botman. Botman alipata ni injury. Um, and he has been, he has not played since, for two weeks now. According to Eddie Howe, um, Sata Rudi after international break. International break, ni after game week nine? Game week nine, yeah. So, yeah, Botman, also someone to consider, um, especially if he's in your team, kuna replacements, akina Sha wako, akina Dan Ban wako, kutaka watu wa Newcastle, so kuna options. Alafu, Kodi Hakpo, <laughs> Uh, obviously, alifunga kwa game ya Liverpool, but al- alikuwa milimwa tu just before that goal. Alafu akafunga mgui kakatatu. Akanda half time, he didn't come back. Diogo Jota came on. So, he, and then he left the stadium in a knee brace. So, waiting to see how severe the injury is. But kama kwa team yako, um, I think that it's it's an it's an injury that even if it's not bad, but at a rest you are, because you don't want to make it worse. Yeah. So, he's probably going to miss maybe the next two weeks minimum. 
uh, but that also opens up options in Liverpool midfield. We'll talk about that later when we talk about another Liverpool uh, midfielder. Alafu Son, Son ame kwa kidil tu na injured. He has not been 100% for the last few games. So, Bada naanza games, at least he's playing like 60 minutes, 70 minutes, um, and he's scoring, he's contributing. So, yeah, ni mse mwenye, I don't think unazam drop, but just to monitor, he's not playing 90 minutes, so you also, you just have to factor that in. If you have, if you're comparing him to someone like Madison, if Madison has a 90 na son a chesi, Madison has a chance to, na unajua vile league za hiko, watu wa chesa 90 plus, na umwana, totu na mse wa shafunga about 3 to 95, 90 plus 5. <laughs> like 90 plus 5 they've scored 3 goals already so someone like Madison is not only playing if Son comes out after 60 minutes Mseka Madison anacheza karibu 100 minutes unacheki but Madison pia kotoa na injuries injuries zake pia ya malizi game but now to compare na Mseka someone who's fit in midfield um, Rashford for example or Bruno Bruno will end up playing 100 minutes which is 40 minutes more than Son and Madison and these people no mana ako kwa hii list. Hiyo 40 minutes ni important. Na t- tumwana teams mob kama teams za kina Tottenham wanafunga mabao mob after um after 90 minutes. So just to keep an eye on but bado na produce someone you have to have in your team. Uh kama uko na concern the obvious replacement is Madison and, and the money works. So you end up saving like 1 million. So yeah. <laughs> then lastly was Diaby. Diaby ali ali limwa kwa gemeo na Brighton. Then he had to come off after 60 minutes. Alikuwa mekongana na keep, alikuwa na steal, I think. Then he got like an injury on his back. He played on, he's played well still. Um, at some point, he had um, a lot to deal with. But according to reports and according to what the coach said, it doesn't seem something serious. So we expect him to show up in game week 8 against Wolves. Kabla tonge about suspended players, kumbukeni wa se, upper box to box, wataka mjipe enjoyment. So... Uber Eats is giving you 20% off your first order, up to 800 shillings discount once you get to the Uber Eats app and you get anything. And then once you're about to get to the checkout, just put the promo code box to eats Remember, promo code is box to eats and you get 20% off. Next, suspended players. Anthony Gordon. Anthony Gordon ali kula yellow kadeke atano of the season. So he's suspended for one game. I can't even speak. Um, um sana kula tu mayelo nimewatch niliwatch hii game ya Newcastle na PSG imesha tu sahi by the way hiyo pia alikula yellow so anda um sana get tu yellow kila pali um yeah so obviously suspended for the next game um other players who were on five bookings actually it's only one ilikuwa Nicholas Jackson but he has served his his he missed the um, Fulham game the derby and then players that are actually on a suspension uh, tightrope, four bookings. So Alvarez, um, this is Edson Alvarez of West Ham, not Julian. And then Aaron Hickey, uh, Brentford, fullback, Yves Bisuma from Tottenham, Douglas Luiz, Mario Lemina, and Luca Dean. Players on three bookings, it's a long list, but for all of, all of you guys who are probably not seeing this and are on Spotify or whatever, I will go through the list. Bruno Fernandes, Bruno Guimarães, uh, Ola Aina, Emerson, Lucas Paqueta. Those are two West Ham players, uh, key players as well. Nelson Semedo, uh, Ahmed Zosic, um, Joao Gomez, Orel Mangala, Brathwaite, Ben Chilwell of Chelsea, who is also injured anyway. So, yeah. Bear, Kai Havertz, Joe Ward, uh, Alexis McAllister, Kauru Mitoma, and Destiny Udogi. For all of you and me and box to box who have Destiny Udogi. My Destiny. Um, players, when you make a red card, Curtis Jones, Diogo Jota, will make a red card against Kim Tottenham, so they automatically get a suspension. So Jones need three match because it was a straight red. Jota will miss two games. <laughs> Uh, Musani Akate, Nottingham Forest will serve a one match ban. Yaki alikuwa dismissal against Brentford. Then Rodri alikula red card against Nottingham Forest. So he will miss the next Arsenal game. I think he missed the Newcastle game in the Carabao Cup and the Wolves game. So he's already missed two. So the Arsenal game is the third one. Malogusto, uh, yes, got a red card as well. 
um, against Aston Villa. So you re- already missed the one game or two, if I'm not wrong. One, two, can't remember. Um, no, one, he's missed one. Then Wolves midfielder Bellegarde also received a red card, straight red. He has missed one already and he has two more games to go. And yes, those are the people on suspension. Ah, and now, there's a big question up at FPL. Is Salah a must-have in FPL? We started the season without Salah. Na tukona maze, umse, anaproduce, to anaproduce, anaproduce. Obviously, we, we got him in last week and he doesn't produce. But that does not, I, it doesn't mean that he he's become a bad player. Salah and Alid Ligmzima in big chances created with nine. That is four more than the next person. And everyone here is just tied. Trippier, Bruno, and Gordon on five. Madison Estupinian, Andre Onan, no, Andre Onana. Yeah, Onana wa Everton. Ghana, Neto, Prowse, Diaby, four. And then with three, it's like many players tied. Mitoma, Son, Paketa, Saka, Jensen, Rodrigo, Young, Rashford, Christie. So you see like three people are tied for five. Um, seven people are tied for four, and I think eight people or nine people are tied for uh, on three. Salah is away, ahead by himself with nine. It's between game one and seven. So this man creates chances. The game against uh, Tottenham, yeah, we've had that big controversy of VR, which, by the way, I have made a video about it, and you will see it up here. Eh, yeah, that game was wild. Anyway. He assisted a goal, Gal Il Kataliwa. Alafu, just before halftime, another cross to Lucas Diaz, uh, Luis Diaz, and then Diaz missed. So he's he's he he still had chances to actually he actually created a goal which was disallowed wrongfully, right? So definitely someone you need to have. And if not just for creating chances, he is also a very good option uh for captain. Jusai to Mokotuna Captain to Haaland by default, yeah. But Ukiwana Salah. You see, the good thing with Salah is if Liverpool get a clean sheet, already that's one point, right? Uh, Ukawu captain, that's an extra two points that come from nowhere. Salah kifunga na Haaland afunge. Obviously, Salah ni mid, Haaland ni forward. So, Salah will get an extra point for each goal. And he's a bonus point magnet. And he's center to their attacks and he takes their penalties. Um, so, on average, if they both score a goal and get an assist, Salah will always get more. Two goal contributions from Salah will more or less zitakuwa more than za Haaland mbili unacheki so Haaland akipata bao na assist Salah pata bao na assist Salah is more likely to even get bonus you Haaland afanyangi hizo dirty work ati passes ni mizi him efficient six touches three goals vutuka hizo Salah will be there in the build up he'll create chances nini so he's also a bonus point magnet so definitely someone you really need to consider in your team and for me personally I feel like Salah and Haaland are a master in FPL Ju ile siku Haaland ameenda off amefunga hat trick pahali na uh, yuko kwa timu yako umemalizwa juu kila mtu ako na yeye so everyone's points will go up and you drop drastically it's not the end of the world that okay drop but Haaland is slowly reaching a point where we might have to consider if Salah does well no Haaland teams will start becoming a thing so that's something to consider the next six game weeks um five game weeks Brighton away Everton at home Nottingham Forest at home Luton away, Brentford at home. These are games that I expect Salah to score in all of them. Um, then Haaland has Arsenal away, Brighton at home, United away, Bournemouth at home, Chelsea away. Two big games there, Arsenal and Manu. For some reason, United always beat Man City in the Manchester Derby. So, um, yeah. But for those five games, Haaland Bado, I'm, I'm, I'm going to average, I mean, like a. A, um, a higher expected points average pushing than Salah. So, he's slightly higher, but I still feel like Salah is the main man. Alafu na just Salah pia Europa League, ana kamtu mas 20 minutes kibaki, sa zingine ata pele adnini, um, kama the last Carabao a chesi, unacheki ana restiwa. So, definitely someone who will play more in the Premier League and rest more in cup competitions because they're not playing in the Champions League. So for me, Salah is a must have in AP, FPL and you must you need to find a way. Especially if you're wild carding, Nimsona Fok Fkiria. A sharp and a value, a sharp twelve point six. Fkiria will wanna make sure score diako ju he's also going to be a big, big um um atakwa a big alternative to Haaland. Ah yeah, Captain Odds uh game week eight. Upper game week eight I have Four people that I believe you should think about captaining this week. The first two are Madison and Son. 
they play Luton so I'll start with Madison ako na baumbili na assist nne 21 shots this season and 13 on target and 10 shots in the box for a midfielder very high so someone who is definitely 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 worth of your captaincy option this week and it's a Luton away hiyo ni game yenye Luton ona wamepokea mabao and they might actually be one of the worst teams to be in the premier league ever if they don't pull up their socks una cheki so Madison is a great option for captain this week um obviously next person is son son pia um sai anacheza striker basically richardson anakuwa kwa wing that is a big plus for us ju fpl is a midfielder so he's getting in better goal scoring opportunities last week alifunga bao moja nyingine kwa disallowed rightfully so for offside na ana get chances so him playing out of position is amazing for us for as fpl uh, as fpl managers so nimse lazima akwe kwa akili yako against luton a very nice fixture for them to score many goals uh, next player mo sala anacheza brighton away stats zake ziko almost similar na zason in the sense of uh, shots zake ni 21 na son akona 20 on target sala ni 10 uh Sony 10 pia a lot of shots in the box ni 14 each the place where they really differ is expected as it's sala is creates way more chances sala is creating more chances more key passes um and just big chances created basically so sala definitely an option for this brighton game na brighton to level alifunguliwa last na aston villa they'll also be coming from playing uh, in the europa league so yeah option for captaincy last one is bruno fernandes Um I saw the way Rasmus Hoyland was playing in the Champions League alifunga bao mbili Sai Rashford anakatu yani bereft of confidence so the only option that we have in that man new attack until because we would like to see more of Hoyland on the captain as amungisha kwa team but Bruno is also someone to consider still creating a lot of chances for this team I know I keep putting him in this uh in this uh, whatever in this uh, captaincy because i think in week appeal to be my cup iv but he gets in the box and he creates the chances and right now bulo kochini the people your coach is going to look like to create chances ni waseka bruno akona game versus brentford brentford wenye wameka tu sai wame after mbuma macha kufunga sasa wanaka tu team tu ya mid table so i feel like here there's a chance and they will have to step up here they might even win a penalty i think so I believe and they need a result after losing to Galatasaray at home in the Champions League. And yeah, those are our four picks for Captain. Clean sheet odds and the team with the best clean sheet odds for this week, uh believe it or not, is Fulham who play Sheffield um, at Craven Cottage. They lost 2-1 to Chelsea, but Sheffield also look like they just can't score goals away from home um or anywhere for that matter. Then in second place is Spurs at 42%. So if you have Spurs defenders like Naudogi and those people, those are good good game to start them. Uh, Romero. Um then in third place tied ni Manu na Crystal Palace. Manu play Brentford. Uh, Brentford have an issue with just scoring goals generally. And then Palace play Nottingham Forest. Um then yeah, the rest of the people are just like well, oh yeah, there's Chelsea and Everton. Chelsea play Burnley away. Uh, Burnley got their first win of the season. I still think they will score against Chelsea in that game and Everton play Bournemouth. Um who looked a bit toothless against Arsenal but Arsenal were just on a different level on the day. So, yeah. Then obviously Ukuchini to kona the next option I think Aston Villa versus Wolves. And then teams with uh, percentage of um highest percentage of scoring two plus goals any team they are more than likely to score two plus goals this week obviously spurs na manu when you're at brentford alafu liverpool when you're at brighton now we and yeah those are our clean sheet odds for game week 8 and with that being said now we need to name our team for game week 8 so in gold kona ariola and it's a newcastle at home apo defense man na back four ya cash udogi Shana Estupinyan um yeah Estupinyan is more or less by default ju benchetu meka tu meh um we had plans of making subs but we had to remove Gordon because ako on he suspended obviously and we were be, going to be a bit light 
So it was a like for like replacement, 5.6, 5.6. We knew this coming into even game week uh, six that Gordon alikuwa risk a suspension and we had lined up a replacement in Neto. And luckily, Preseke agenda you, so straight replacement. Alafu Son is the captain for this week. Uh, a couple mid na Neto, Salah, Saka, na Diaby. Saka is a big, big injury doubt for game ya Man City. So the first person off the bench for us will be Clint, uh, Carlton Morris. I was about to say Clinton. Mumita Clinton Gilasa. Alafu Mbele, tuko na Haaland. Uh, 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 the only change that might be made ni in case Diaby and Saka are both out, then we might have to make a sub there. But we've already made one sub and with our free transfer. So I think regardless, we'll just stick with the squad and see how it goes. Akuna Jakula minus. Tumesama Tkuli minus this season. Akuna minus to Nakula. And that is our show. Game week eight uh, preview, our box to box FPL show. Before we go, I just want to announce the three winners for September. Uh, the managers who did the best in September, basically. Kuali, get to your box to box. If you want to be a winner, you just have to join the league. And yeah, at the end of the month, now in our next month is October. Obviously, we're in October. We see who is top three and we award you. So, number one is uh, actually, let's start with number three. Number three is uh, Caliph Ramuel. Ramuel CR7. Uh, he got three or six points in the month of September. He gets an vo- a voucher from Uber Eats of 3,000 shillings. In second place is Eriko. Eriko, team yake a skill with three or eight points. So, I mentioned that Ramuel to na point mbili. He gets an Uber Eats voucher of 5,000 shillings. And, oh... And in first place is none other than Kiambu Alpino. Team Yake Network give Munga love. 314 points in the month of September. You win a voucher as our Uber Eats manager of the month of 10,000 shillings. So kindly, the three winners, that is Kali, Ferrico, and Kiambu, reach out to us on DMs. I will get back to you and we shall give you your coupon codes. And yeah, if you want to be a winner, join the league. Um, all you have to do is just join the league and play. And you're in the running to be a winner. So yeah, I'll be looking out for the winners in October. And that has been our show. Box to Box FPL show. Game week 8. Tupata Neapo. Game week... Eh, after game week 8 in Asia, obviously. And after prep game week 9. Peace!